We're going to get started with our first CAD tool. We're going to be using Autodesk's Fusion 360. You can click Create Fusion 360 account or this link here, and that should bring us to the Fusion 360. Make sure it's for students and educators. This will give you a free license with your student email address. If you've already created an Autodesk account, just click Sign In. If you have not, then you'll need to create an account. If we're using the school computers, you can just type Fusion and it should already be loaded. Before you load it, make sure you create this account. Just click the button and then enter the information. You may need to verify your email. Once you've verified your email, you can click Fusion 360. You should get a sign-in screen. Just enter your email and password you just created. Once Fusion 360 loads, we're going to go to Preferences by clicking our name and then Preferences. The most important thing right now is to change our default model orientation to Z up. If yours says Y up, make sure that that is changed. If you are interested, you can change different shortcuts for zooming, panning, moving the objects. Uh, I like Inventor. And depending on which way you want to move your scroll wheel on your mouse in or out, you can change the direction by clicking this button. The next thing is to go to default units and click design. And for all of our defaults for this project, we're going to stick to millimeters. So make sure you select millimeters and hit OK. For these changes to take effect, you just need to exit out your tab by clicking the X at the top and it should refresh so that your Z is up. If that's not the case, you may need to exit out of Fusion and then sign back in. If you're at this point, then we'll continue. At the top, we can click the data panel and that'll host all of our projects that we save on Fusion 360 and we can look at anything at any computer at any time that's been uploaded to the Fusion 360 or Autodesk Cloud. This will allow you to work at home on your projects and in any other space that has Fusion 360. We're going to stick to the model tab, but there's lots of other things like rendering our projects. We can also create manufacturing or CAM tooling to build our parts in a machine, but we're gonna make the model we can create 2D sketches with this menu. We can create 3D objects with this menu. We can modify those 3D objects with this menu. We can put multiple 3D objects together. We can also create unique construction areas to create uh, 2D shapes off of other parts. And we can use this inspect tool to, to do measuring throughout on various objects. At the bottom of the screen, we have a uh, orbit tool and we can also do a constrained orbit. We have the ability to pan and zoom. So these are things you can figure out how to do on your mouse or you can use these options down here. We can always fit to window here. While we're drawing we can change our visual style to hidden edges or we can change effects. We can change our camera perspective. We can also turn grids on and off and that should cover the majority of setting up our part in Fusion 360.